I hope you're doing well. I feel like I'm a million, a million love songs later. I feel like I'm a million miles away from you. I'm really sorry, but from like my last video where I cook, you guys seem to enjoy seeing what I've got on the table, but then also me as well. And I find it because I'm so tall, I'm trying to balance it out. And I saw a TikTok where this girl, sorry, what happens is I go on TikTok, see a video, and I'm like, <gasps> I freak out, I panic, I get excited, get out the app to plan my life, and I forget to find out who it is. Um, so I can't really give credit, but obviously it's, it was just a girl shopping in Selfridges food hall. I mean, it's not the most creative thing in the world. I thought, oh my God, let's just do that. So I went up to Selfridges today. It's like another planet. Like, let's go there. Let's see if I can find some treats. Um, I wanted to get some treats that I know for a fact that wouldn't go to waste because they all seem sort of things that I love. Just want to say, disclaimer, I in no way ever am I making fun of anyone that shops in Selfridges or who doesn't shop in Selfridges. I'm just saying that I, that's not my food shopper choice. That's all I'm saying. If you do shop in Selfridges Food Hall, oh my god, amazing. But for me, it was like a different planet. Like, oh my god, it was so lovely. I did kind of feel like I stuck out like a sore thumb, but I genuinely feel like I stick out like a sore thumb in most situations. I spent £73.22 on this amount. I just quickly made a little ginger and lemon tea. Look at the tea bag packages. I mean, I loved, in, I loved ginger and lemon, so I was just like, oh my god, I'm just gonna get this. I'm just gonna leave that brewing. So, what I've been really excited to try are these. These are Kalido, Kalido. I got a sweet chili sauce with um, the, with a feta and pesto one, and a tuna and cucumber one. And they're like little wraps. I'm so sorry if I'm, pronouncing any of this wrong or I've got it wrong. I was such in a panic when I was in there because I was like, uh, I shouldn't be in here. If you guys like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and let me know if there's, if you want me to do Harrods. Like Harrods is a food hall that I've never shopped in in my life. Um, obviously nothing against it. It's just I don't shop in Harrods. So let's try this. So this is the, um, this is gorgeous. So this is like a wrap. This was two for 4 95 with the sweet chili sauce. So, tuna and cucumber. Oh my god. Oh my god. Wow. Mmm. The thing I didn't know about Selfridges is food hall as well. You can literally go in there and grab food to go. Like, it's not necessarily like a shop where you go and just do your food shop and that's it. Like they have bits like this that you can take and have for lunch. They're like a nice chody size. This is the feta and pesto. I've been loving pesto at the minute. All right. I mean, I, I imagine like the most fanciest, well looked after rabbit would eat this. Um, <laughs> you know what I mean? Mm. There's a serious lack of feta in that. Feta and pesto. I'm gonna give it a thumbs down. I will give it a 2.5 out of 5. It's very quinoa-y like spinachy, which is nice if you like that. But I was hoping for it to be more like creamy, thick feta, sexy bit of pesto. I reckon if that is the type of food you like, go for it. 4 95 okay, oh my god. It's quite, it's quite out there. But oh my god, the freshness of both. We love fresh food. So let's try the green tea. You have to leave these um, brewing for five minutes. I love my ginger and lemon. I've had a lot of ginger and lemon teas in my life. Love twinings or twinnings. And I also love um, tea pigs. I've got my mouth is like full of flavours. My mouth feels like a healthy chocolate factory. Okay, so moving on, like most of this is quite snacky, which I love. So I thought I would go and make myself a little bap with one of my favourite cheeses. So this is the, st oh my God, I can't pronounce that. So it's the Blue Stilton, but it's spelled Stilchelenton. Stil Stilchenton, Stilchenton, Stilchenton. 
Um, this was £6.80. Are you joking? Nah. <laughs> the thing is though, I didn't even know, a lot of the things don't really have that many, well they did, they have, they have prices on them, okay. But oh my god, £6.80 for that, my bloody fingers bigger than that. I also went for this um, chorizo. Guys, if you're just joining me for the first time, I'm so sorry, my pronunciations are terrible, I really do try. So we got some chorizo. So I thought we'd make ourselves a really posh bat using the um, Charcoal Vegan Seeded Burger Buns. Who am I? These are the softest things I've ever felt in my life. When I picked it up, I was like, oh my God, am I picking up a cloud? Like, this is insane. Stilton Chorizo Charcoal Bun with Chili Onion Relish, which was 3 50 The buns were five pounds. The chorizo was Oh, I was served by Gabriella. She was sweet. Seven pounds. Jesus Christ. Okay. But like I said, I really didn't want to go in there and buy things that I knew that, oh my God, this would be great for a video, but I know would never be eaten by anyone. So that's why. Sorry if this isn't the most exciting thing that I could have, like, ate. Oh my God, I don't have butter. This, honestly, is the softest thing I can't even tell you. It's like, it's like touching a cloud. Oh no, I don't have butter. No! Oh, this looks creamy. So Blue Stilton is, it's a very questionable cheese. Now, I'm not a cheese concierge. <laughs> I don't want to say it, but it's stinky, all right? It stinks. It absolutely stinks, but it is my favorite cheese ever. If you've never had Stilton, woo! Have a little sip of my tea. I found my most classiest mug. And let's go in with a few, I mean, look at the packaging on this, look. It's resyllable, oh my God. Okay, maybe it's not great. <laughs> I've got to put the chutney on. Okay, so this is the, oh, sweet, oh my God. Right, let's whack that on. God, I'm going to show you before I, uh, before I eat it. This smells like a bloody, you know those like car boots out, um, hot dogs, or like the football stadium or the carnival fairground. We've got the relish under there. We've got the chorizo. We've got the blue, uh, the Stilton. Oh my God, I'm excited. This is my lunch. Okay, ready? He ain't getting emotional, but he's getting emotional. This is melt in the mouth. But this is one of the nicest things I've ever eaten. You wouldn't have to go to Selfridges to make something like this. This is like a 23 pound sandwich. Is it worth 23 pound? No. I mean, the tea's nice. Is it revolutionary? No. Okay, moving on to the next thing because I'm quite thirsty after all that. This is a, um, if you know, if you've been here for a while, oh no, what the hell is this? Oh yeah. If you've been here for a while, you know how much I love rose. Anything smelling like rose, tasting like rose, I just love rose. And uh, this is a, um, a water kefir. <clears throat> this is a rose and a acai raw botanical live fermented water drink. Acai, not a kai, acai, like a acai bowl. Rose and acai, oh. Ooh. Oh my God. Oh, this is delightful. <clears throat> oh my God, this is so nice. Okay, so. Right, where do we start, where do we start? I'm gonna start with this Joe and Seth's um, Marmite Gourmet Popcorn. Crunchy caramel popcorn coated in lovely Marmite. You be the judge. 
Guys, what do you think? I love, love Marmite. Anything Marmite, I'm like, huh? <laughs> Now this is a bit of me. This, Zoe's gonna love this. Currently filming, Marmite popcorn. Oh my God, okay, I love this. This is a very nice sort of like um, Friday night, risque, let's do something different. Let's eat something different. 20,000 out of 10. 20K out of 10. I'm just gonna have some more of my um, fermented rose and Akai? <laughs> Akai? What is it? I don't... Alexa, how do you pronounce Akai? Akai bowl? A icy bowl? Tatty bike. What? These, I am a massive fan of Goralik and olives. Um, so I found these olives. Please pop me in the fridge. I sure will after I've eaten them. So yeah, I think I think these are these are Bara olives. Um, which I feel like I've had before at Joe Sugg's house. I remember being around there once, a couple of years ago, and he had these olives, and I feel like they were from Burra. They were Burra olives. So these are just plain old garlic, bits of garlic in there, olives. And um, do you know what? If I close my eyes, I'm literally in Spain. <laughs> No, I'm not going to be shopping in Selfridges. No. I'm not going to do it. How much were these? These were five pounds. Absolutely stunning. Beautiful. Okay. I actually saw this on the... Are they for dogs? Are you joking? They're for dogs. Or is that just a dog? There's a man, look, with his dog. And I'm like, are these the Teddy? Ted, do you want some black truffle with popcorn? Oh my pong. Eee, what the hell is this? This popcorn has been coated with our own specially developed black truffle powder created from the highest quality black truffles hunted in Europe. 4 99 Babes. What is black truffle? I think I'll just stick to me butter kissed. Gorgeous, amazing, thank you, love it. <clears throat> that's gonna be really, like that's gonna be a nice little Sunday morning treat. These, I just, because you know what I'm like. These are called ass kicking peanuts. Kick your ass hot with hab habanero pepper. Um, this is no ordinary peanut. We've dusted these little critters with the world's hottest pepper. Oh no. I just like because it was a little donkey. Serve these up to a snack loving crowd and keep the beverages handy. I'm gonna make a big, um, my, oh no. <laughs> my little bum hole doesn't like hot foods. Oh no. I just, I got, I'm just one of those people that I get a trowel. Oh, what the fuck is that? Okay. Oh my god, they look terrifying! No, I don't think I can do it. They look absolutely terrifying. No. <clears throat> oh my god, they're hot. They're really hot. I'm not being dramatic. Oh my god, they're actually really hot. I had half a peanut. Okay, get over it, Mark. I don't do well with hot things. I think it sets off my asthma. There was that one time I did that video and someone was like, order the spiciest curry you can, and I did, and I almost died. We're gonna give these to my friend Joe. 
So Joe, enjoy your seven pound oh nine ass kicking peanuts. That's not for me. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm wasting my money. I feel bad. This will go to a better home. Joe, if you're watching, my friend Joe, these are going to you. Not Joe Sog. <laughs> Joe Sog, if you're watching, you can have these, but I had another Joe in mind. Awkward. No, these are not for me. I'm sorry. I, I, hot stuff and meat and my bum hole just do not mix. Crunchy oyster mushrooms. Just a pinch of salt, vegan friendly. One of your five a day. Gluten free, 88 calories per serving. Good for the gut, smart choice of snack, cooked at low temperature. Oh my god, look! Oh my god. Eee. Oh my god, they're weird. Oh my god, they're so weird. Oh my god. Oh my god, why is this so weird to me? Guys, I'm so sorry about those peanuts, but I get really, really funny about spicy things. Like, like I, even though I'm not allergic to peanuts, I just feel like one day I might be, and I just, I hate that outlook that I have um, on things. But like, like that was scared, that scared me, okay? I, I was scared. <laughs> okay, so let's try this with a sweet chili sauce. Don't ask me why, but... Obsessed. I just feel like this is really intimidating, but put it with some sweet chili sauce. Well, I don't think there's much room left in my stomach. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my god, I literally just came up with that. Oh my life, I literally just came up with that. I'm gonna save these for later. So there's not much room left, but we what we do have is, if you know me, <laughs> one of my favorite biscuits of all time is a custard cream. Now these are the Percy's Chocolate Cream Biscuits Custard Cream. A rich cream filling comforted in between two Chilu biscuits. Okay, so these look insane. It's like actually, it's like actual cream. I would have it with a cup of tea, but I ain't got no milk. I mean, uh, this would be fabulous. Fabulous, oh my God. This would be so nice with a cup of tea. But I could literally sit there and eat a whole packet of custard creams without a cup of tea. I mean, they're nice and I'm gonna absolutely boss this, but I much prefer my, my custard creams. You don't compare, okay? You're not the same. I kind of want another bap. Finally, we have the 4.99 Mirangu Honeycomb. Wow. Also, the woman who served me this was so sweet. I honestly don't know if this is the right way to eat a marangu. Also, by the way, I do know these are called marangs, not marangus. How do you eat them, though? Mm, this is stunning. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a massive thumbs up. It really does help me. I love you guys so much. Just once again, there's no thing, there's like, there was no shade um, to anyone who does or doesn't shop in Selfridges. I think it's just a very different place for me to shop. Um, but yeah, I don't, 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 I don't want anyone to think that I'm taking the piss or whatever, because I'm definitely not. Um, I love you guys so much. Um, have the best day ever, have the best week. I love you and I shall see you soon. Bye.